Okay, peace again. Uh, thank you for coming out. I want to just say hello to a few of the street soldiers, Brother Shabazz. Yes, give it up, Chris, brother. Mark Brown. production and uh, Dr. Oibo and Brother Farrell Valentine will be dealing with the um, metaphysics of uh, the deep metaphysics and Gagat the Grand Unified Theorem with that give Brother Dr. Oibo and Brother Farrell Valentine a black hand. Well, we are, we are so happy that Dr. Oyibo could make it. And uh, first and foremost, welcome, Dr. Oyibo. And uh, we are going to, uh, we, we, we promise a scintillating uh, discourse uh, around this issue of Gagut. Uh, which I think is, is just pure genius. And again, we're going to explore this because uh, this brother has not been given his due. Um, we see it playing itself out now more and more. It's becoming evident that there are only a few people who will begin to appreciate the presence of this brother. So I have, a, um, I have, to, I have some things that I wanted to introduce into the record, um, if I may. Uh, if the court uh, will allow me the dark matter energy. And I'm going to put a few things into the record uh, as it's going to relate to what I think that we can move forward for today. So, brothers and sisters, to wax philosophically, we are standing at the threshold of a great collapse and at the same time a great beginning for all humanity. Those of us who gather together like this, here and around the entire planet, represent the seeds of a new time continuum. We are the fathers and mothers of the shift. Few people have the capacity to think for themselves. Few still have the capacity to think for themselves, and even fewer have the capacity to spread what they think in their minds, even though it is contrary to what is being thought of and taught today. Only those with the courage to face ridicule, rumor, condemnation, and even death will be recognized by our posterity as the unheralded standard bearers of truth. Those of us gathered here today understand the level of commitment it takes to be such a standard bearer, and it is to just such a man that we will have the pleasure of sharing in the wisdom that this great spirit brings and the ancestors have once again blessed us with. Yeah. That's his wife. Is that his wife? Yeah, that's his wife. Oh, that's his wife. That's the wife? Oh, okay. All right, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> We're very, very strict about that. We don't know. Sorry about that. <laughs> Beloved brothers and sisters, before any significant breakthrough can occur for each and every one of us, we must be before we can do. And we can do only to the extent that we are. And what we are depends on what we think. For as a man thinketh in his heart, as Brother said, so is he. This is what is referred to as coming into the isness of being. So, beloved brothers and sisters, welcome to one of many historic or our historic moments where we will get a chance to discuss with one of the preeminent minds of our time the substance and fabric that comprises our reality. Today we are honored to have with us in this our dark matter think tank a man who is destined to be recognized as one of the greatest minds to have visited Earth in the last three millennia, Dr. Gabriel Oyibo. Now, 
here's where we get interesting. Before we get any deeper into the subject matter slated to be the prime topic of the evening, I would like to offer a precursor observation that will help to segue us into the gist of the issues. Many of you have called me to explain, or to ask me to explain, what is it that this good brother has accomplished? Why in the world, at least in a vast section of its academic community, the so-called intelligentsia elite, why are they so excited, as well as nervously worried, about what this brother has so eloquently done? Just what sacred cows, what scientific gods are threatened by this good brother's works? Well, today, there is much for us to explore in reference to Dr. Oyibo's work in the hopes that we will all come away with something significant that we can all immediately apply in our daily lives. So with Dr. Yibo's permission, we should like to explore or at least one or two specific aspects of his brilliant works, particularly those dealing with spiritual ascension and immortality for the human species. But again, before we continue, a moment longer is needed for further clarification. Please indulge me. As a hygienic scientist and a doctor of naturopathic medicine, I have taught that freedom from the cycles of life and death, disease and pain is, that is immortality, are the natural cosmic divine birthrights for all humanity. This, in fact, is the unseen destiny for our species, immortality. The return of immortality and the rejoining of the cosmic consciousness awareness of man with its dark matter source. But for this to occur, human consciousness must expand to the point where it can again recall the truth of its eternal existence. We must once again embrace our multi-dimensional identity. Without this specific consciousness awareness recognition of self, of our unique purpose in the web of creation, and within its plan for transcendence, our collective journey towards enlightenment will be absolutely unbearable. It will be sordid, it will be painful, and it will be without meaning. So, beloved, for many, many years, I and other teachers of the underground metaphysical community have repeatedly taught that the Earth's consciousness is directly affected by the condition and structure of the human body and biogenic systems. That the DNA imprint, which sets the biological structure for our body, is directly manifested through the morphogenetic energy field of the planet. Now, a morphogenetic field is a form-holding field made up of particles and antiparticles, which form the template of evolutionary instructions for the consciousness transcendence of a planet, as well as a single human being. The morphogenetic field allows matter and antimatter particles to build into individual forms. A person's morphogenetic field exists within the larger morphogenetic field of the entire species and the race, and around these exists the morphogenetic field of the planet that they inhabit. Now, please pay close attention. Because the subjects we are about to discuss will challenge the present <coughs> academic and consciousness paradigm that we have become accustomed to, the subject of immortality and spiritual transcendence will seem to be conflicting realities, which is why I felt I must begin by offering these words. Now listen carefully. Consciousness, ascension, and immortality is a direction or path through which perceptual awareness transcends through a structured multidimensional system. When viewed for a planetary scale or on a planetary scale, the process of transcendence involves the transmutation of particles and antiparticles into pro progressively less denser states of matter consciousness. This then allows for a planet like Earth to rise from lower dimensional frequency bands into higher dimensional reality fields existing in 15 to 33 dimensional scales. The process of human transcendence involves this exact same formula because we are part of the greater morphogenetic field of this planet and the progression of dimensional transcendence for the human and the planet are intertwined. Now, listen carefully. As a metaphysical hygienist, we learn that life is more than the flesh that it expresses. We overstand and teach the doctrine that the flesh is quickened by the spirit 
that the human body is a miraculously constructed cosmic machine composed of particles and antiparticles, all and each possessing the tones, the harmonics of the word, that word which has spoken creation into being. We understand that matter moves because it is animated by spirit. What we call the life force, vital force, the breath of Brahma, it is the vital force that quickens the flesh. Please allow me to give you a couple of examples. As a metaphysical hygienist, we come to the understanding that man is not life. Well, how could we say that? Okay, peace again. Uh, thank you for coming out. I want to just say hello to a few of the street soldiers, Brother Shabazz. Yes, give it up, Chris, brother. Mark Brown. Well, we are, we are so happy that Dr. Oyibo could make it. And uh, first and foremost, welcome, Dr. Oyibo. And uh, we are going to, uh, we, we, we promise a scintillating uh, uh, body in the audience, supporters, and for many years. This is a Sire Metal House of Consciousness production. And uh, Dr. Oibo and Brother Phil Valentine will be dealing with the um, metaphysics of uh, the deep metaphysics and Gagat, the Grand Unified Theorem. With that, Give Brother Dr. Oibo and Brother Phil Valentine a black hand. Thanks. Discourse uh, around this issue of Gagut, uh, which I think is, is just pure genius. And again, we're going to explore this because uh, this brother has not been given his due. Um, we see it playing itself out now more and more. It's becoming evident that there are only a few 